Hey guys, today we're gonna do a short video about a glitch that I had encountered playing the Necromancer deck. Right now we're sitting at the 71 global and of course that's not boosted. I was thinking that maybe at the end of this season I'm gonna try to boost and see how far we can make. My goal is somewhere around uh, 76.7k. We'll see if it's possible. But uh, the glitch I'm gonna show you is uh, here, this one. Something really weird happened and it crisp, crisps me out. And you're gonna see what I mean when you when we get there. Speaking of which, uh, Yusuf is a very strong player and also a friend of our clan leader. But I think I played well in this game. So it's gonna seem like I read him like reading a book. And here I chose to dodge because he starts with the demon. And because he knows he's gonna get my phoenix. So something else is coming to kill everything. That's why I chose the standard bearer dodge. And now there's nothing we can do there because he has a level 12 Inferno, which one shots my uh, Necromancer. And you need to remember that his Inferno can one shot my Necromancer. And here, let's go slower. See? Okay. Okay, that still creeps me out. So you see that his Inferno killed my Phoenix and my uh, Shaman. But my Necromancer brought all of them back and not taking any damage from the Inferno. Even though the Inferno should have killed my Necromancer if my Necromancer was on the field. But it didn't. Let me know if you know what's going on there, because I don't know what to explain. My theory is that the the game, the background calculates the damage uh, on the length, maybe from left to right or right to left, and there is a time. Uh, what do you call? There is a period of time where the the system conducts damage deduction to all the troops and the damage deduction to where I placed the necromancer is passed and that's when I pl placed the necromancer and uh, the damage deductor has deducted all the HP to my phoenix and uh, shaman but uh, that's that's already passed where I place my necromancer that's why necromancer can survive that and bring all of them back but I'm not sure because if you th think about it in a programming level it's very doable if they write code like that it's very likely to happen and it's also prone to glitches like you see in this short clip but make sure you let me know what you think happened there Maybe we should watch it again. It just creeps me out every time. It's like the Necromancer has became the you know who from Harry Potter. Let's go slower. Wait, he still has to play the dragon. Let's go slower here. And let's 
see the inferno. We kind of played it at the same time. But he plays slightly faster. Which means my necromancer shouldn't have brought the phoenix and the shaman back. It wouldn't matter in this game I think, but it still is some kind of glitch for sure. Pretty weird, but I got lucky I guess. Well that's, that's it and uh... Let me know what you think happened. I'll see you maybe at the end of this season. Or I'm gonna do a live stream to see if any friends. To see if I can make any friends. Also playing this game. And that's all I have for you today. Good luck. And happy crushing.